All's not well in EV world. Don't matter how many times they tell you that a petrol is more likely to catch fire than an EV, it does nowhere near as much damage. And what we have to look forward to, even in India, I read today that they're banning EVs underground. I'll try and find the article, but uh, it looks like they're going to ban EVs in underground car parks. India's EV ambitions may hit regulatory bump as draft building code curbs basement charging. This is Sabaya Khan and Puran Chowdhury, and that was last updated October the 15th, 2025. Synopsis, proposed national building code amendments restricting EV charging in basements could significantly hinder India's ambitious 30% EV adoption target by 2030. Experts warn these provisions, citing fire safety, ignore global evidence of EV safety and urban realities, potentially deterring buyers and developers. If I'm honest, the evidence I've seen in a lot of underground car parks is not good. So I would say it's them that's ignoring the evidence. India's target of increasing the share of electric vehicles, EVs, to 30% by 2030 may face a speed bump. Proposed amendments to the National Building Code, NBC, include restrictions on parking and charging of electric and hybrid vehicles at basement levels of residential and commercial complexes citing fire safety concerns. Wow, October 3rd, 2025, the EV report, Nissan recalls leaves for battery fire risks. Now, this gets me because it's the same thing as, well, not the same fault, but the same vein of cure as Porsche Taycans. Nissan is recalling over 19,000 LEAF electric vehicles from model years 2021 to 2022. A battery defect creates a fire risk when using level three quick charging. But these batteries, they're charging, you know, 20% to 80% in 30 minutes. Nissan North America has announced a safety recall for approximately 19,077 of its LEAF electric vehicles due to a battery defect that poses a fire risk. The issue affects certain 2021 to 2022 models and is related to a potential overheating during level three quick charging sessions. Why? Why will it overheat? He highlights affected models the recall includes certain 2021-2022 Nissan LEAF vehicles equipped with a level 3 quick charging port. The defect, the lithium-ion battery, may develop excessive lithium deposits, increasing electrical resistance, and the potential of overheating. So, electrical resistance, byproduct gets hot. Get it? The safety risk. The safety risk, during level three quick charging, the battery may heat rapidly, potentially resulting in a battery fire and increasing the risk of injury. The remedy, Nissan will provide a free software update to prevent the issue. Immediate action, owners are advised to stop using level three quick charging until the vehicle software has been updated. How is the vehicle software update going to stop excessive lithium deposits i think probably the only thing it's going to do is stop your fast charging because it'll detect it's heating up and stop it till it cools down not really a cure that is it details of the defect the recall targets nissan leaf vehicles from 2021 to 2022 model years that were manufactured at the nissan smyrna plant According to the report, the lithium ion batteries in the affected vehicles can experience excessive lithium deposits within its cells. This condition causes an increase in electrical resistance and can lead to a fluctuation in the battery state of charge. The issue is specific to vehicles equipped with quick charge ports for the level three charging via a CHAdeMO connector. Safety risk and warnings. The primary safety concern arises when the vehicle is connected to a level three charger. The increased internal resistance in the battery can cause it to heat up rapidly. If charging continues, this overheating can escalate 
potentially leading to a battery fire, the manufacturer states that there is no preceding warning to alert the driver to the dangerous condition before it occurs. So it just goes up in smoke. Remedy and owner notification. Nissan is developing a software remedy that will prevent the battery from reaching a state where a thermal incident could occur. Once available, dealers will install the update free of charge for all affected vehicle owners. So that's not a remedy, is it? It's just turning it off when it shouldn't need to be turned off. It's turning it off when it shouldn't need to be turned off because there's a fault in the battery. The battery needs replacing. Nissan plans to mail an interim owner letter beginning on October 24, 2025, instructing customers not to use Level 3 quick charging until the final remedy is completed. A second notification will be sent once the software is ready for deployment. The manufacturer's number for this recall is R25C8 and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration campaign is number 25V655. If I'm honest, that's not a cure, is it? It's taking away something that was promised to you with a vehicle. <sighs> CTV News. No injuries after an electric vehicle charger catches fire at New Westminster gas station. By Ian Holiday. October the 11th. Firefighters doused a blaze at an electric vehicle charging station in New Westminster Saturday afternoon. The call came in shortly after noon, according to Platoon Captain Kevin Cooler of New Westminster Fire and Rescue Services. The charger that went up in flames was located at the Chevron station on McBride Boulevard near 8th Avenue, and Cooler said crews were concerned about preventing the fuel pumps from igniting. And I think that's why the when you go to charge your electric vehicle, they're right in the darkest, dampest corner of the motorway service station or petrol, away from anything else. And the reason is not that you think the electric chargers are going to catch fire from the petrol pumps. It's the other way around. Don't kid yourself. The charger that went up in flames was located at the Chevron station on McBride Boulevard near 8th Avenue and Cooler said crews were concerned about preventing the fuel pumps from igniting. A dozen firefighters responded to the scene and worked to extinguish the fire, which took a while to cool down, Cooler said. A while. He said it's the first time he's heard of an EV charger fire in New Westminster, noting that electric vehicles and infrastructure related to them tend to burn hotter and require more cooling because of the materials involved. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.